people it's your man og i got one more special video for y'all i told y'all i was gonna give y'all this before 2k21 comes out so everybody wants to know about finishing in the game and do you need contact dunks understand contact dunks is just the animation in the game that 2k gives you because your stats are high so just look at it as that just another animation doesn't mean if you have a 75 driving dunk and you have contact finisher on gold you still can't catch bodies with contact finisher on um with i mean the finishing takeover so you have to understand this concept you have to understand this mindset people be reaching so hard it's just like being able to speed boost people reach so hard for it to make it seem like that's what you need to be able to excel at finishing or you need an 86 to excel at dribbling and that's not the truth understand that 2k has the mathematic system once you're once you have like a my for instance my new build that y'all see my 6'5 build, build that I has have, a right? he's gonna have a i drop the wingspan i mean i max the wingspan so his arms is very very long so he's now at a 79 driving dunk all right imagine once he gets to 99 at the plus four the mathematic system he's going to be getting those contact dunks with contact finisher on gold so it's key to understand that you don't need to try to reach for the 86. When you try to do that with your stats, you can't make a balanced build at that point. 2K sees you're trying to go overboard and finishing. So they say, all right, you're, you're going to only succeed in that. We're going to have to hit all your other shit. So you got to be smart and utilize the mathematics system. Say, all right, I'm going to get my finishing to here. And then I'm going to tweak. I'm going to just let my skill do the rest. I'm going to let the boost, all the other stuff that comes. So this is my pass first wing, all right? The game is going to be very, very similar. One, that's one dunk, all right? Understand how once you get past a player, once you speed boost or get past them or get to a certain point past the player, if you have a 60 dunk, right? It's like you can still dunk it, but it depends on how far or how close he is to you. It depends. If you have boost on, all these things depend. And the more you know your build, the more you're going to succeed in this area for instance on this play i'm going to show you guys what i mean by having a 76 dunk even if you have a 70 driving dunk it's still very very good add boost to your player and then at plus 499 that's going to go up you're going to have like a 74 all right so you guys see how it works out for you so don't think that is bad you can still dunk with that you just have to learn it's iq after that now look at this let's go back you see how went, once I do this behind the back move, I understand I'm in that radius of the animation of the takeoff dunk animation. He's beat, right? Behind the back. He's beat. His teammate now is not even in a position to contest me. If he was a little bit closer, he probably would get that block. But nine times out of 10, I understand that my 76 driving dunk and the boost right here, I'm dunking that. You understand? This is why I made the pass for his win build because he could just do that he doesn't need contact dunks he's just going to get that automatic too you're only being in a mind state where you just like oh i want the contact dunk animations but you still can win get contact dunks dunk like a slasher dunks in real life basketball hey with two strong contact finisher right there comes up like that's you guys got to understand you don't need crazy contact dunks that's only if you want to get content that's how i be feeling with dunking I don't need the super, super high unless a bill can have it all and, you know, have something else. But I don't need that. Look at this dunk right here. Look how this build dunks with a 76. I look, that looks like, you don't even see NBA players do that in games all the time. But that looks like something crazy. Like, whoa, he took off. He, he, he lift off. Look. Look how my... Look how I dunked the ball. Another clip I want to show you guys. When you're dunking in 2K, especially in 2K21, since they said that everything this year is going to matter, like strength is going to matter, having your strength high when you're going to the rack, having a relentless finisher, having a contact finisher, all these badges may matter so much more this year. Like they are all so like key this year. Yeah. Y'all don't know what's coming, so this is my this is my thing. We already got the leaks that strength and all that stuff is gonna matter with finishing this year. Depend on how you finish at the rack. I already felt it in the demo. Alright? So now finishing this year is gonna be important to have that IQ to finish. So watch how I bake up this guy right here, right? And watch how I take my finish. Understand it's all about timing. Everything is timing. Everything is timing. 
You see, I'm cooking him up right here behind the back, getting with the hesitation. Look now, I'm gonna pause it right here so y'all can see it. He's on the left side now. I see the right side's open, the gap's open, but guess what? I got the shooter over there in the corner. So nine times out of 10, this guy's gonna just bait like he's helping. But if you're a player that's aware of your attributes and you're aware of how tall, my player is 6'9", he is 6'9". So I'm aware of how tall he is. I'm aware of the advantage in my mind. I understand that's my player's natural gateway he needs to go through to score or he can do that easily all right so you see i get him with the move right here i speed boost off now look at the animation he's in when i see play i'm paying attention to all that you have to pay attention to this because once you see that animation you know he's gone he's clear get him out of here he's gone bye bye he's out of the way he's not going to be able to contest you so be confident in holding that r2 and speeding to the rack and pressing square once you get to the rack and you're going to see this dunk that I'm about to do, he's not ready to contest me. Look at him. He's like, he don't even, he's not even, he don't look like he wants to contest me. Look how I just take off right here. You see how I get the animation? You press square right here. Once you have like a 76, you can take off right here from where you see that little circle mark at. You can take off from right there. You have to notice in your mind. If you don't notice, you're not going to be able to do this in the game. You're going to try to just go to the rack, press square, normally like a slasher. Think because you have the stats and the attributes, you're going to be able to do it. That's not the case. You have to understand that you got to create it for yourself as well. That's the IQ that I talk about that y'all need to pick up on. Hey, look at that dunk. There's nothing they could do. You just have to understand when to slash. Like, slashing is actually a skill as well. You see, I'm ISOing up on this build. Like, people that said I couldn't ISO, like, what? This is a 6 9 pass first wing. So, why can I be on a guard? Look at this. Why couldn't I be on a guard? When a guard is faster, more tight, smooth. Look how I'm playing around with this boy on a 6 9 pass first wing. Just, just cooking him up. Stop right here on the die, I told you I shoot on all the elbows. This I had to come back and pause it. Once you see this gap right here, right? He's beat. You have to understand when you beat a person, like, it's like once you understand moves, if you don't understand what you're doing on the court, you're not gonna know when you beat a person. Like some people make certain crossovers and a player goes a certain way and then you make a dumb crossover to bring him back to you. Now he can get in position to play defense on you. You have to know when you have him beat. By the time I had the ball right here, I knew he was beat. All right, understand this. I get in front of him, I cut off that middle side, go for a dunk, there's nothing he could do. He wasn't even in the animation to be able to catch up. Look at this. Ugh. Look how I'm just doing him crazy. Another finish, hey. What? What 86 driving dunk do you really need? I'm dunking like I'm LeBron. I'm shooting like I'm Curry on a 6'9 build. So imagine on a 6.5, and then the 6.5 has better stats, it's higher, so it's like, people are not seeing it. The Loyals are seeing it, but people are not seeing it, man. Look how I'm just, look, he can't stay with the build, there's nothing he could do. Spin off, oh, oh, look at this. <gasps> now look, I keep telling y'all it's all about the IQ, understanding your stats. 2K, now, like, look. <clears throat> Let me stop playing here. What? <laughs> you gotta do the cuts, man. Now, look. When I hit this spin right here, right, and I'm dribbling out this way, most players, would you think I'm doing that because I'm stuck? No, this is learn, learn this guy into me. He's gonna start coming forward. And then that's when I'm just gonna move this left stick and go diagonally to get that curve and start going to that space that's open. You see where that little fairy's at on the screen? That side's open, he's asleep. That guy's not holding L2 down. He's not going in and out. Watch this. Uh, do a move speed boost past him. Look, look at his feet, look at his position. I know this is a clear dunk. You just have to understand when you have these. I'm tired, I'm blinking. Look, red is blinking. A 76 with boost. Understand, y'all seen the boost stands, right? I showed y'all the boost stands in the trailer, so there's no OG boost not gonna be in the game. It's, it's in the game again. Because 
they have that pay to win system there just so they can make money like i told you guys now look i'm tired these guys both have defense in their in their abilities and they can't stop it it's all about the iq and knowing when to do it man i keep there's a fly just in my room for real like it's like <laughs> oh look at this ha ah! he got his takeover i remember this game i was i'm telling you you don't need that much slashing you don't twos are always easier in basketball threes are harder you see it in real life so the game they have to just go off that natural system when they build the game Make the threes harder for people. Make the dribbling and creating and shooting off threes and create and dead eye shots harder. Make the twos easier. Why do you think new players? Sorry for you guys, but why do you think new players and newbies always make slashers? It's easy. You just drip the R2 square dunk, but they making it harder for y'all now. Y'all gotta start learning the IQ. So hit the like button down, man. Subscribe. I, I just wanted to leave this with y'all to let y'all know like how the game's gonna be this.